Folks, welcome to Statistics. What's up, folks? Welcome to the next lecture of Statistics. All right, folks, welcome back to the next lecture in Statistics. After a long hiatus, today we're going to be keep investigating uh, what happens when you shift data, rescale data, or transform data. We're also going to investigate how to compare data, just like we previously, but in a bit of a different context today. So here we've got two guys in the Olympics. Okay, yeah, this guy over here on the left, he's competing for Kazakhstan, and his name is Kluft. K-L-U-F-T, Kluft. And our guy on the right here, he's competing for Japan, right? And his name is going to be Squidget. Squidget. Okay, let's try to get the, the names right. Squidget. Okay. All right, looks good. Okay. Um, and of course, being the way I am, I switched up their names. So this guy over here, he's our man Kluft. And this guy over here, he's our man Squidget. Squidget. And please do uh, fix me if I pronounce their names incorrectly. So we've got Squidget and Cloft, and we want to know which one of them is better at the Olympics. All right. So we've got some data. We got some data. So what's our data? Well, we know the following. There is two kinds of sports in this uh, Olympics. In fact, this Olympics is known as the heptathlon. If I uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, that means there's seven kind of competitions. And of those seven kind of competitions, there's two competitions we're focusing on in particular. One of them is the high jump. So, you know, you kind of jump over the bar, let you see, you know, who, who jumps uh, the highest. Now, this guy's looking pretty miserable here, but I'm sure that's not clue for Skyjet. So, so there's one of the competitions we're, we're focusing on today. And the other competition, this is the long jump. This right here is a long jump. The other competition is about, uh, you know, who can throw the farthest, right? Uh, if you've ever seen a javelin, that's what this one's about. So, who can throw the farthest? So, uh, I think it's called shot put. Shot put. Uh, so, this one is, you know, you, you grab a kind of a bow in your hand and you kind of shoot it as far out as you can. So, this, this, uh, this sport has a name called shot put. Okay, so we got two sports, the long jump and the shot put, and we got two athletes, uh, Skyjet and Kluft. And we want to know who's better, who's better, right? Who gets the highest score? Now, this is pretty hard because, I mean, for example, what if Skyjet does better on the long jump, but Kluft does better on the shot put? Who would win overall, right? That's the question we're trying to answer. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and try it out. Let me give you the data and let me tell you how, how well each of them performed. So... So, 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 in the long jump, in the long jump, let's compare their performances. How did Skyjet do and how did Kluft do? Well, Skyjet, in the long jump, how did Skyjet do? Well, let me give you the data. Let me get the data somewhere right here. So, in the long jump, in the long jump, how many meters did Skyjet jump? Well, Skyjet actually jumped 6.3 meters in the long jump. So that's pretty impressive, 6.3 meters for Skyjet. As you can see, these are, uh, these are some of the bars they're jumping over. And how about Kluft? Well, Kluft, he also jumped pretty high. I mean, Kluft jumped uh, 6.78 meters, which is pretty impressive. Okay, so we got Kluft, we got Skyjet. One of them jumped 6.3 meters, one of them jumped 6.78 meters. It's pretty clear who the winner is, it's Kluft. But hold on, hold on. We didn't get into the into the nitty gritty yet. How about the shot put? The shot put. Who won the shot put? Well, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see how they did. Now, uh, uh, for Kluft, Kluft shot the javelin 14.77 meters. So 14.77 meters for Kluft. And for Skyjet, how how far did he throw it? Well, he threw it 16.4 meters. Okay. Okay, so we got Skyjet, we got Kloof, we got Long Jump, we got Shot Put. Now you can see that clearly, who won the Long Jump? Well, it's going to be Kloof. He jumped higher, right? And how about the Shot Put? Well, it's going to be Skyjet. He, you know, he, he, uh, he threw the javelin, he threw the bow, he threw the arrow uh, 
farther. So one guy won the long jump, one guy won the shot put. But who was better overall? Well, to answer that question, we're gonna need a very special statistical tool. And the name of that tool is, try to see if you can guess this, fill in the blanks, what is it? It's the standard deviation, that's right, the standard deviation. We gotta compare Kluft and Skyjud to their competition, to their peers. How well are they doing? So we gotta use the metric of, whoops, the standard deviation. Let's go back, the standard deviation. So how do we use the standard deviation here? Well, we're gonna be given the mean and the standard deviation of the competition, and then we can compare Kluft and Skyju to the competition. So let's go ahead and do that. How can we do that? So let me go ahead and erase this top, top, uh, top stuff over here. So erase all of this, and let's see how we can uh, compare Cleft and Skyjute. Cleft and Skyjute. So these two guys, how can we compare them? Well, we know how well they did individually. I mean, we have their data right here, 16.4 and 6.78. We know how well they did individually, but how well did they do in context of their group, right? So we're gonna answer that question right now by considering these scores. So let's take these scores and let's put them up over there. Let's put them all the way up, all the way up over there. So we lost some stuff, but that's okay. So this is the shot put scores and uh, overall it seems like we're good. So that's the performance of Skyjet and Kluft, but what about the performance of the team overall, the, the competition overall? Well, let me give you that data, okay? For the competition, we're gonna need to know the mean and standard deviation so that we can compare Kluft and Skyjut. So here is the mean and standard deviation of the competition. For the long jump, the mean is gonna be 6.16 meters. 6.16 meters. And the standard deviation for the long jump is gonna be 0 0.23 meters. How about for the shot put? The shot put mean is gonna be 13.29 meters or 13.3 meters. And the standard deviation is gonna be 1.24, 1.24 meters. Okay. Okay, so now we've got enough information. Now we've got all of this information, let's try to organize it in a nice, neat table. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna create this table. Seems like I can't go any further up, so let's go to the right. So here's my table. Okay, what's gonna go in my table? I'm gonna put a long jump here, long jump here. Did I use cyan for long jump or? Yeah, I think I did. And I'm gonna use green for shot put. Green for shot put. Okay, so here we go. So let's first do uh, the mean and the standard deviation overall for everybody. What's the mean and standard deviation for the long jump? Well, for the long jump, we're gonna have 6.16. Oh, let me use cyan. 6.16 meters is our mean for the short uh, long jump and 0.23 meters is our standard deviation. For the shot put, our mean is 13.29 meters and our standard deviation is 1.24 meters. Now let's bring in a uh, cleft and sky jute. So let's first do cleft. Okay, let's first do cleft. So let me put cleft's name here, cleft. Okay, so what was uh, cleft's performance? How well did he do? Um, let me go ahead and write that. Uh, maybe there's a brown color. So what was cleft's performance? Performance. Well, let's see how he did. Uh, do we know how well Cleft did? Yes, Cleft got 6.78 meters in the long jump. So we can go ahead and write that down. In the long jump, Cleft got 6.78 meters. Okay, well then we can calculate, we can calculate how well he did in terms of the overall population using the Z-score. And of course, remember what the formula for the Z-score is. 
the z-score formula is your data value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. If you uh, calculate that, that's going to tell you how unusual or how likely uh, a value is, a data value is. So let's go ahead and do that. So instead of x, I'm going to put 6.78. Instead of mu, of course, I'm going to put 6.16. And of course, instead of standard deviation, I'm going to put 0 0.23. And let's go ahead and uh, check out what this is. Uh, perhaps there's a calculator here. And of course not, because this is uh, Apple. So um, let me process this in my head, dum dum dum, and we get a z-score of, <coughs> we get a z-score of 2.7. No units, by the way, z-score has no units. Okay, and how about for shot put? What is, uh, what is Clough's performance for shot put? We'll just zoom back out. Let's see Clough's performance for shot put. That's gonna be 14.77. Right, that's uh, that's the one he actually uh, lost out on. So 14.77 uh, is his performance for a shot put. 14.77 meters, recall. And now let's calculate the z-score. So 14.77 minus our mean of 13.29. Divide that by the standard deviation of 1.24, and we're going to get a z-score of 1.19 for cleft. And so that right there tells you how likely or unlikely these two guys scores or performances were. Okay. Okay, so that's cluffed. Now you can clearly see he did better in the long jump than the shot put in terms of the overall population, right? Because remember, the higher the z-score, the more unusual it is. So a z-score of 2.7 is really, really weird. That means it's really, really unlikely. That means Cluft was really, really good, right? Compared to her competition or his competition, uh, as opposed to 1.19, which is still really good, but not as good as 2.1, 2.7. Okay, so that's Cluft. Uh, let's move on to Skyjet. Skyjet. So let's go ahead and try to emulate the same format here, except instead of Cluft, I'm going to have Skyjet. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Zoom in so you can see everything. And I'm gonna write sky shut, sky shut. Uh, please forgive me if I do spell the rain long. Sky shut. Okay, so first thing we're gonna start with is his performance. So what's his performance? Well, let's zoom back out. Let's see what sky shut's performance in the long jump was, and it's 6.3. So 6.3 meters was his performance. Let's go ahead and use that data value to calculate the z-score. Right? The z-score, how do we calculate the z-score? Well, we're going to take that data value of 6.3, uh, subtract the mean from that data value, 6.16, then divide by the standard deviation of 0 0.23. And what's that going to give us? Well, if you go ahead and plug and chug that into your calculator, you're going to get a z-score of 0 0.61. 0 0.61. Okay. So that's that for, that's that for Skyjet. Uh, that's the uh, long jump score for Skyjet. And you can see that uh, he did pretty well. I mean, 6 point, 0 0.61 is no joke. That means you're 0 0.61 standard deviations away from the mean. Right? That's how you can interpret that. And uh, yeah. How about, um, how about for the shot put? Let's calculate his shot put score. Well, his shot put uh, for Skyjet, uh, his shot put was 16.4 meters. He actually aced that. So 16.4 meters. And let's plug and chug that into our z-score formula to see how unlikely that score is. So we can interpret the kind of, um, the, the amount of specialty that, that comes with uh, Skyjet score. And if you calculate that, his z-score is 2.51, which is which is really good, which is really good. Now, we can, uh, let me just go ahead and write down the formula I used to calculate the z-score. Okay, now observe something really important. What do you see? Let me actually take this gigantic table and put it upwards so that we can focus just on this. 
So do you make any observations on this table? Do you see anything interesting? Well, you should. You should see the winner. Right, who's the winner here? Well, uh, unfortunately, my table's frozen. But there we go. Who's the winner in this in this game? Is it Cleft or Skyjet? Well, look who's better at their at their respective games. Cleft is 2.7 standard deviations away from the mean. And he won the long jump. Skyjet, even though he also won the shot put, he's only 2.5 standard deviations away from the mean. So that means Cleft is more is objectively better than Skyjet. Right? So uh you know, even though Cleft won one game and Skyjet won another game, Cleft is better at his game than Skyjet is better at his game. Okay? Cleft is better at long jump than Skyjet is better at shot at shot puck. Okay? Here's another way we could put it. Who would win the overall Olympics? Who would win the gold medal? Who would you give the gold medal to? As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and go to Chrome and let me type up gold medal png and let's get a gold medal image right here let's get a gold medal all right so <clears throat> who are we going to give this gold medal this amazing gold medal to is it going to go to cleft or skyjet cleft or skyjet that is the question who has won the olympics well, it's a difficult question because both of them are extraordinary, right? Uh, both of them won at least one game. Cleft won the long jump and Skyjet won the shot put. But you got to observe something very carefully, right? Cleft is better at the game he won than Skyjet is better at the game he won. So in that way, we can reward Cleft with the gold medal. Cleft gets the gold medal, right? Cleft gets the gold medal. But there's another way that Cleft could also win. There's another way we could define Cleft as the winner, and that is the sum of the z-scores, the combined scores. If you combine their scores, you're gonna get a value. Right? If you combine these z-scores, you're gonna get 2.7 plus 1.19. And what's that gonna be? Well, that's gonna be 3.89 if you plug that into your calculator. Likewise, let's combine these z-scores, 0 0.61 plus 2.51. Combine these z scores and you'll get 3.12. And again, remarkably, even though we did completely different computations, we get the same answer. Who won the game? Who won the Olympics? Well, it's gonna be Cleft. It's gonna be Cleft. Because not only was he better at his game, at the game he won, than Skyjet was at the game he won, but his combined z score is higher than Skyjet's. Right? So since Clough's combined z-score of 3.89 is larger than Skyjet's combined z-score of 3.112, we conclude that Cleft is the winner. Cleft wins. And guess what? That's actually what happened. Cleft got, not surprisingly, Cleft got the gold medal. And Skyjet, Skyjet unfortunately, walked away with the silver medal. But that's okay, they're both legendary. And they both won in a sense. Okay, so that's how you can kind of compare data values. And that's, that's a very important consideration, right? That's what they do at the actual Olympics. They use statistics, they use z-scores. Uh, all of this funky, wacky stuff. Uh, so that's it for this lecture, folks. And um, hopefully you now know how to compare data and how to see who would win at the Olympics. Thanks for watching this lecture on statistics and we'll check you out next time.